Hi, this is Fabrice and today I'm going to talk to you about those trees. Um, I made a video about the bokeh effect last week and some people asked me where I got those trees from. So I thought I'd do a little video of uh, not only how I made them, but also I'll show you a little bit how I did this animation here of the leaves and giving us these beautiful dappled light effect here where uh, the light of the sun obviously is changing in real time thanks to unreal engine and uh, giving this this really nice dappled effect so let's jump into max and i'll show you how i did the tree so here we are into max and you see i've loaded the x level uh, plugin and i'm ready to create my grow fx uh, object here but before i do that i will show you the x level website where uh, i got the plugin from but also where you can click on that plants library tab and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page then you can um, download some free plant models and here you can see you've got the oak one two and three I encourage you to download them and play around with them and see um, uh, what you can do so here I'm going to create a grow effects uh, object and I'm actually going to load one of those presets I've downloaded already so I'll use the oak three actually which is the sort of the lightweight one the low poly one and you can see that 3ds max has generated it pretty quickly from then I just very simply created my materials in 3ds max and just uh in exported them through or using fbx but what i'll and i won't take you through all that process because it's pretty uh, simple and lengthy but what i will show you is how i got the um, vertex color information uh, through to uh, Un uh unreal engine and that is done by clicking onto uh, the obviously the grow effects object and if I select my leaves here and go in my mesh builder there is a little vertex color uh, button here and I click that and enable the vertex colors onto uh, the the leaves here and I'm pretty sure it's that one or maybe it's that one maybe it might need a little bit of testing but however this uh, enables me to pass on this little uh, information over to Unreal and I will show you the result of that in a second uh, from then after I've um, checked my UVs and everything and I'm happy maybe you can generate different seeds I go into uh, tools and create a snapshot of my tree and export that as an FBX very 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 simple so let's go back into Unreal now and I'll show you the material in just a sec okay so now we're back in Unreal I've actually uh, got a couple of these trees already loaded so here that's the high poly one that's the low poly one I'm actually on my old uh, laptop so this uh, is 4.22 and it's running pretty all right just with one tree if there was a whole forest of it I encourage you to use the foliage tool anyway so that it's well optimized so let's um, delete the high poly one for now and actually I'm going to show you uh, straight in the materials um, how I created that um, leaf so the rest of the textures are pretty simple there's nothing to it uh, but what I did do is create a simple masked uh, blend mode obviously with the opacity for the leaf and then the two-sided foliage so that's all there was for uh, the subsurface scattering effect and then maybe um, a little bit of control over the brightness here um, as a with a parameter but the point was about the uh, leaves moving and for that I added the simple grass wind so this is normally done for the grass and um, the uh, these parameters just enable um, you to change the speed and things like that and so that uh, the texture needs to be piped into uh, the world position offset and also I created a linear interpolation between zero as a value and this uh, along the vertex colors so this is how this node this vertex color 
um, gave us the option to uh, to re reduce the movement of the leaves to an absolute minimum, well, to zero actually, which means that here our leaves are animated by the uh, simple grass wind, but you see that they are actually attached to the branch. So it's a little bit of a cheat, as many, many things are uh, when you use gaming technology. Oops, sorry, I've lost my tree. But all in all, it gives a really nice effect, and with a much, much powerful card, and now I've actually found other ways to optimize the trees, the high-poly trees, uh, to much, much, much um, um, less uh, polygons, so that we have a much... Um, um, thicker trees and with less polygons so but i'll um, keep that for a future video there you go so that's it for me i hope it was useful please uh, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this video and uh, please share if you think it was useful and might help somebody else thank you very much and see you next time